Hello, comrades, and welcome back to Ushanka Show. Здравствуйте, дорогие товарищи. В эфире программа Ушанка Show. Today I would like to show you some Soviet-era anti-American propaganda posters and provide my friendly translation and some comments. First poster is pretty dark. I guess we can see the soldier of the US Army. His helmet has the interesting badge, emblem of United States dollar, which is crossed with uh, some kind of missile, bloody bayonet, bloody white armband, and below there is a sign that says, the army of USA is the weapon of aggression and assault. And разбой, Russian word разбой, it can be assault and also can be robbery. So usually people who do разбой, that's they attack you and then they rob you. So армия США, орудие агрессии и разбоя. Poster number two. This one actually kind of analyzes the situation in American economy. So Uncle Sam to the left is carrying a new charge for the cannon. The name on the cannon is Agresia, aggression. And the back, I'm trying to say how to say it in English, so when you shoot like recoil, right? So there's recoil says, one says Dragovizna, which is uh, the rise in prices. The one that shoots high, it's called inflace, inflation. And right above Uncle Sam, there's the Russian word spot, which is like collapse of the economy. And a little sign in the bottom says US. So this is what aggression of American military does to American economy. Poster number three. This one is done by the famous Soviet cartoonist Kukriniksi. He, I remember doing cartoons like in the World War II era. So here we're looking at uh, three guys milking a yellow otter which called Middle East or Near East, so Bližnyi Vostok. And the words, kind of small letters to the right, says, Zdis lyotsa vnov i neft i krov. Here the blood and oil is pouring again. So the guy on the left is definitely American, has a dollar signs on his babushka. <laughs> um, head cover. Not sure the fat guy with the butt sticking toward us. Maybe it'll be Germany. Kind of sure what the letters on his end to the right is. The British guy has a pound sign, and they milking Middle East cow to the buckets, and on the bucket says "nieft," which means oil. Poster number four. This one is done very, very well. Quite a artsy. So it's called two words, two plans. Dva mira, dva plana. So the socialist world and above says we are planting life. So the young soldier is holding a bag which says acorns. So they planting they planning to plant uh, oak uh, oak trees. So like uh, make them between the fields like a windbreakers. And on the lower part, the second world, which is a capitalistic world, it says, and they are sowing death. And it says, Karta Vajanek Bad, so the map of the military bases, and a guy, I guess it'll be a military industrial complex dude, pointing to American general where to put new military bases and actually on his little notepad that's what it says new military bases so two worlds two plans we plant in life they are planting death poster number five pomoch galadayushim po amerikanski helping starving people american style so this is quite artistic decision here made so we have a knife that's called usa engraved on it and it's slicing off baton we call it that type of bread baton slicing bread and it turns into bombs so this is how america helps starving people 
another quite interesting Soviet poster. So there's two military officers holding scarecrow and it says Sovietska Ugroza, Soviet threat. So this is pretty much they are begging for money and on the bag it says NATO. So you can say maybe it's kind of like a Halloween. They're trying to raise money or scare people like on Halloween and do peekaboo or boo or trick or treat. Uh, so yeah, the Soviet thread in order to collect money for the NATO bag. Poster number seven. So here we got the Statue of Liberty and the words Если здесь свободный строй, что ж тогда назвать тюрьмой? So it's actually it's rhymes. Если здесь свободный строй, что ж тогда назвать тюрьмой? If here is a free society, what would you call a jail then? And then on the bottom of the Statue of Liberty, behind the American flag bars and the dollar sign, we have trapped workers or anti-war protesters or someone else. So this is probably more like a modern, I would say, definitely late 80s, mid 80s poster. Here we got another nicely done poster called Nibaluy. One of my favorite verbs in Russian language, Nibaluy, because it rhymes with word Hui. I apologize if anyone who knows Russian, but it's a bad word for penis. So Nibaluy means like don't mess around, so Soviet soldier. And he already got two nice awards. One is the the hero of the Soviet Union, that golden star. And another one, I believe it's the Orden Velika Teshnavanis was to like for participating in World War II and doing something very impressive. And he's holding a book about World War II, but we call it the Great Patriotic War, 1941-1945. And so he warned in, I guess, American guy because he has atomic bomb. And he warned him, hey, Nibaluy, don't mess around. With the letter CCCP, SSSR. So we are watching you, Uncle Sam. Okay, another one comparing the differences between socialist society and capitalistic society. It says мы with red letters, which means us, and они in black letters, them. So us, we turn in deserts into the blossoming lands. On the left, a they, they turn cities and villages into the deserts. All right, so this poster is really pushing the boundaries, I would say. So we have a dollar sign in black crisscrossing with the brown. So it kind of looked like a swastika. And the message below, it says that after World War II, United States were part of 215 wars and interventions, 177 times used their navy, several times warned about using military weapons and killed many millions of people. All right, so next poster is equality American style. So we got a American worker with empty, empty hands, empty handed. Ravinstva po Americansky says on the bottom and on his shoulders we got a fat capitalist guy with a cigar holding his factories and holding his cash. Moving on, another quite graphic bloody poster. Pazor Ameriki, America's shame, showing the dead black guy on the background of New York and Empire State Buildings, I believe. And that's another quite graphic poster. So we have a face of America and the mouth, letters as the teeth says Americanska Politica, American politics. And in the shades on the left says Vnutrinya, so inside politics. And we have a cops beating up the black guy. And to the right, right glass part is Vnutrinya, outside politics. And we got 
American troops inspecting the dead person. American politics. Americanska politica. This one is actually a kind of cute one. Almost looks like American cartoon. So we had a bunch of uh, electrical teapots. They all boiling and steaming. And they all plugged in in the panel that says U.S. Anti-Sovietska Hysteria. Anti-Soviet History. So that's a kind of cute one, almost like Disney style. And the last one, I guess you don't really need even translate. There's a letters in the bottom that says Constitutia Sasha, United States Constitution, and to the whole, poking a gun. So it's hard to say, is that like anti-gun poster or anti-American poster? But here you are. Okay, comrades, I hope you enjoyed this video and maybe learned something new. As always, I'm happy to see your comments. Let's discuss this Soviet art and we'll talk to you soon. До свидания. Goodbye. Hey, by the way, the cool merch for cool comrades is available at the Ushanka store at teespring.com. And if you love my channel and would like to show your support, please click on the link below this video and become the patron of the Ushanka show. For as little as one dollar, you can help us grow and create the new interesting videos about the life in Soviet Union.